All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have the Zulu stand-up paddle board made by Kaku Kayaks. And in this video, I will be discussing as many juicy engineering technical details as I can fit into a 20-minute video from the perspective of myself, a product design engineer, uh, and also a user, avid user of this product, and as somebody uh, who uh, contributed in small ways to the design that you see right here. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. Start from the back, work the way up. Basically what these are right here, uh, they're, just, they're accessory mounts that you can use to mount a number. Uh, there's a number of accessories that use that footprint. But what it originally was, was the footprint of the micro shallow water anchor made by PowerPole. And it wasn't, it wasn't meant to have five of them. It was meant to give you options uh, depending on how many you do have and what other accessories you have. So basically, if you have one, if you have one micro anchor and no other accessories, you put it right here, right in the center. Because if, you, if you're not familiar with how uh, the micros work, they basically drive a fiberglass rod um, down uh, a spike basically into the the bottom of the ocean or the sea floor you know in anything less than eight feet of water and yeah so if you want if you just have one the best place to put it is right in the middle so that when you push it down and the reaction forces push up it doesn't rock and and uh, and get you off balance um you know, it, this is a very stable, stable design. It's amazing how stable it is, um, even though it's a stand and sit on top design. Uh, but So I inserted this clip right here to show the stability of this kayak. Uh, I got me and the missus uh, sitting together and I am able to reach up and lift my dog up out of the water while she's floating and get her up on and and we don't really even tilt so that's uh that's all i wanted to show you guys with this clip that being said you don't want to uh, you know off balance yourself if you don't have to and so that's the point of the middle one and then the other option is say you have two micro anchors and no other accessories so you're going to want to put those right there right there and right there and the idea behind that is is if you have two of them then you can not only stop yourself from you know drifting position to position but you can also stop yourself from twisting and the more you the farther apart you can get those two two spikes the more effective it's going to be the more counter torque it can apply to stopping the front from drifting you know either from current or from from the wind and the way so that's if you only have two now if you have one micro anchor and a trolling motor obviously you want the trolling motor to be in the middle you don't want your trolling motor pushing you from off your center of mass because you'd be you know it'd be just turn you one way the whole time so you want your trolling motor in the middle but if you only have one micro you don't want it way over here because then it'll it'll really if you put down two then it's just equally pushing you up but if you only have one you don't want it to be right there so that's what these two are for is uh you can pick basically whichever side is your favorite side to put it but it's not that far off the center line so it won't be tipping you Quite as much, and so the the planning that went into to just the the configuration of these mounts uh, is really awesome. All right, moving forward, uh, we have this awesome mat uh, that really feels good on the feet, and also just makes the thing look like a million bucks. Um, there there are proprietary names for it um, that it's it's all the same stuff basically, but um, it's basically a uh, uh, oh what kind of foam is it? Uh, EVA. It's a it's a EVA uh, UV resistant EVA foam. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, these covers right here, they, it, you take these off when you want to mount an accessory to it. Those are called starboard, <clears throat> and it's very common. Anybody who's who's uh, knows anything about boats or marine knows that's like basically the standard you know construction material for uh, 
for any accessories or decking or you know a, a, a sink or a table or anything on a boat it's all it is is uv resistant polyethylene polyethylene one of the cheapest you know materials on the planet you throw some additives into it turns it into uv and then you can charge a butt ton for it it's super expensive but additives you know is uh is one of the names of the game with uh what makes a material good or bad it's not just how cheap the base polymer is but moving on to this chair this this chair is uh is one of the the biggest selling features really of this design it's included in the price and it's super lightweight um fabricated out of aluminum and this is uh this is one part that i i designed from scratch for him which is you know just a, a way to uh hold onto the chair and get it to the rail and so what that lets you do is you can slide it forward slide it back depending on your weight distribution uh you know if you're if you're going camping and you got a bunch of uh, gear back there you can slide it forward to make your waist distribution or if you you know you got your pooch up front you can slide it back to even out your weight distribution so another side note i forgot to mention guys is this seat is really cool uh for more reasons uh than just what it's made out of so it is actually a three position seat where you can sit right here with this as a backrest just like you normally would or you can stand on this and you might say, well, of course you can stand on it. But the, he, he, the Kaku actually went to a lot of uh, effort to make sure that this was stable to stand on, not like a normal seat cushion where, you know, you're tilting and you're rocking all over the place because it's so squishy. You know, there's, it's hot. He's got a hard plate up underneath there so when you're sitting on it your butt is on something soft because your butt is broad so it's not going to push all the way down into that hard but then when you step on it with something of smaller surface area like your feet it's it, it scrunches the foam down and you end up standing on the hard backer plate and and that's so it makes it very stable and easy to keep your balance and this uh, the kayak is stable enough to do that and a lot of kayaks stand-up paddle boards are not stable enough to do that um, And then so the third seating position is you see how this is see how that's curved That's a second place to put your butt and then you put your feet right here. So uh, I thought that was really cool and just wanted to add it in for you guys But and as you can see this is, this is one of the most accessory ready sups that that you can get it, like as far as you got a rail rail top rail over on the other side top rail chair rail chair rail front rail front rail so <clears throat> and if, if you don't know much about marine accessories they all utilize those basically unless they're something more uh substantial like an anchor or a trolling motor that needs a broader footprint but almost all accessories from cup holders to rod holders that they, uh, they use they use that kind of design <clears throat> right here we have an accessory uh mounting hole uh for pedal drives or um electric uh trolling motors and right now it just has a cover in it you know to keep it from being a big gaping hole when you're not using it um but that's that's something i i helped with the design with also, these drain channels uh, were something that I helped him with, uh, just putting those in. Again, nothing, nothing complex. He just, he just needed cat, uh, some CAD work, and and I just this is the concept I came up with him based off of what he asked for, and and he liked it, so he just kept in kept it in how I had it. Um, there's the mounting places for some of the mount the the sheet metal that lets you use the accessories i was just talking about i also helped him to design uh those that he has available one one for that lets you attach a pedal drive and one that lets you attach a deck mount trolling motor that you know tilts up and tilts down when you don't want to use it but it, it utilizes those those holes and then some mounting holes that are underneath here that you can't see and then this is also a, a pretty unique feature for uh, from Kaku. This lid right here is also roto molded, um, which is what the, the whole kayak is, is roto molded with this awesome blend of materials. Um, and if you don't know much about roto molding, it's, it's kind of a labor intensive process. It's a slow 
labor intensive process relative to injection molding. Um, now relative to other types of fabrication, it's, it's actually pretty efficient, but relative to no, you know, like injection molding, which is how, how that's made. It's actually pretty slow. The cycle times, you know, take, um, you know, minutes to, you know, tens of minutes sometimes depending on, on how big and complex the parts are. So they take to, to get this awesome sea foam color that you see here, they take all the, all the, the various colors that you see and they throw them into the mold at, at one time and they they don't mix them together they let them be distributed unevenly and that's what produces this wonderful marbling that you see throughout the whole thing and so in addition to the whole thing being done with that that awesome process that produces this marbling effect he also did this lid a little little tiny rotor mold just to make this lid match the rest of it he could have you know done cheaped out and done it you know with a with just a black like mo what most manufacturers do and and he goes to the effort to ba color match that basically with the rest of the of the unit and also an, uh, an added kind of benefit of the rotor molding process is every single one is unique because not every no two uh, processes will blend the different color pellets in the mold as the road the mold gets heated up and rotated so that the material just kind of falls into all the little crevices you know this part of the mold will be at the bottom and so gravity will have the material flow to there and then they, it rotates slowly and then this side will be at the bottom and then the material flows to there so just the nature of of uh, entropy and not being able, you know, you never pour the material in exactly the same way you did before. So it leads to a, a, a almost like a fingerprint. So every, every sup from Kaku is a, is a unique, uh, almost like a snowflake. You're never going to get that exact same marbling or that exact same color distribution from another one. So, Hey guys, one side note I wanted to add in here is that the, uh, material that the kayak is made out of is called high density polyethylene commonly referred to as HDPE and there's three main reasons why uh, almost all kayaks are made out of HDPE. Uh, one, uh, it's general uh, durability and impact toughness uh, and uh, flexibility and ability to bounce back, you know, take a blow and bounce back is number one. Number two is it's abrasion resistant. So it is actually one of the best plastics you can get uh, of the, you know, practical industrial available, um, that can flow in a mold, uh, for abrasion resistance. It's even better than, than some metals, uh, because it's, it's so rubbery basically is the, the property there. And the third reason is weatherability. So the sun, sunshine and the, and oxidation of the outside environment, um, it does not, uh, depolymerize the surface of HDPE nearly as quickly as other polymers would. So um, that's a breakdown of the material that the kayak's made out of, and I uh, just wanted to add that in here. I, better, I should go over the, the, hull the bottom of the hull design because that really is something that sets apart Kaku from other manufacturers as well, is, is their, their hull design. Um, this, this is a really stable stable sup and and if you've ever been on other sups you know that stability is uh really not the norm it's uh it's it's the rare thing to get you know a combination of stability and sleekness and tracking you know not not darting off to one way or another every time you paddle and this thing really is the whole package and the reason why is is because of all this detail that you see right here from this that you know on on initial prototypes it didn't have that and it didn't act like he wanted it to so he added that back in or added it added it in when uh to make it make it work better and then this shape up here really you have to get a fiberglass uh sup to to be able to compare to to this awesome nose shape this duckbill nose shape that has a combination of a very sharp point that cuts through the waves and really really makes it smooth even if it's choppy out and that duckbill shape that that really keeps the spray off of you and then then you see see how it um it, it angles out it doesn't just go flat back it goes out <clears throat> and so that gives you more surface area touching the water and re and really adds to its stability and then then you see those 
those channels um, that go through. So between the very distinct keel at the front and the back and those channels, it really is the Cadillac of, of stand-up paddle boards. And so when, uh, after I tried it once, I, uh, I had to have one. So I went ahead and, ahead and bought one from him. And, uh, and so now I get to show it to you guys. Spotsy, why'd you jump off? All right, guys. Well, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Here's uh, the full clip uncut of uh, me pulling the pooch up out of the water. Uh, if you like this content, you know, uh, give me a like. Uh, if you really liked it, give me a subscribe. Uh, and regardless, thank you all. Uh, if you don't, there was something in it you didn't like, uh, let me know down in the comment section. You know, droned on endlessly about stupid stuff, uh, made too long of an outro. You know, whatever you can think of, let me know. It's not gonna not gonna hurt my feelings, but uh, might improve the content. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Come on, come on, Spotsy, come here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, Spotsy, come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good doggy.